So I'm starting with my hair already blow dried straight. I'm just going to be putting some heat protectant on my hair and I'm going to be combing that through that way it is on all of the strands. Next I'm going to clip my hair. I do like to do my hair into four sections starting um, with the bottom. So I'm just going to be spraying some heat protectant again and I'm going to start curling this piece. However, this piece I'm going to show you what not to do. So you see me curling it, however I'm not going to hold it and the piece is going to end up very limp. That's what you don't want to do. Next is what you want to do. So I'm going to be curling it using the barrel down. Um, I'm going to hold it for a couple seconds as you see me doing now. However, when I take it off of the curling iron, I'm going to hold it and spray it with a freeze spray. I'm using the Gorilla Snot Freeze Spray. And as you can see, it holds a much better curl. This is the key to making sure that your curls stay all day long. So I'm going to be repeating this process with the curl that you see me using next. And like I said, you just hold the curl for a couple of seconds, hold it in your hand, and then you are going to spray it with free spray and that's going to keep the curl in place. So I'm just going to be repeating this process over my head. One trick to get very big bombshell curls is to alternate what pieces you do going forward and what pieces you curl going back. I always find that that creates a lot of volume in my hair and that's something that I really love. So I'm just going to fast forward through this process and, um, you know, curl all over my head. Okay, so now we're on the bangs. Um, I already went ahead and curled the other bang. However, I'm going to be curling this next bang. I do curl my bangs going forward and you're gonna see next why I do that. So this is all of my hair curled. I'm gonna go ahead with that Gorilla Snot Spray again. Um, and next I'm gonna be using my big brush. As you can see, I'm going to brush my hair out. This is what really creates volume. However, with the bangs, I like to brush them back and feather them forward. And that is where you get those face framing curls, you know, that give you that full voluminous bombshell look. Okay, so next I am going to go in with some oil and I'm going to put that all over my hair, running it through all the strands to make sure my hair is nice and shiny. And that really just, you know, pulls the look together. And then I'm going to go ahead with some edge control. I do use Hicks. And this is just to make sure I don't have any flyaways um, at my part. I don't do baby hairs, but I do like to make sure that everything is nice and sleek. So that's why I use the Hicks um, edge control. All right, guys, and this is the completed look. We got big bombshell curls, 
all over my head very nice and face framing let me know what you think about this tutorial below or if you have your own tricks to achieving bombshell curls um, also let me know what other videos you guys would like to see me do in the comment section below make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and put notifications on that way you know as soon as possible the next time I post a video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.